Good morning, guys. Uh, today we are here to discuss a few questions on mixtures and allegations, and this is a quite important topic for in the examination point of view. So let's see a few questions over here. So this is the first question which is uh, given in this way: There are two vessels contain milk and water in the ratio three is to four and five is to two ratio. If both the vessels are mixed in the ratio one is to one, find the ratio of milk and water in the new mixture. Fine. So that he mentioned like there are two uh, mixtures which is having milk and water in the ratio. Let me take first one, first mixture that is in the ratio three is to four, and the second ratio that is in second uh, mixture that is in the ratio five is to two. And it is told like the both were taken in the ratio one is to one, which means their quantities that have been drawn are same. Equal quantity. So let me check first before going into the problem. Let me check the total quantity of this. If you take the first vessel A and the second vessel B, first vessel A three plus four, seven units, and the second ratio five plus two is also seven units. That means I can consider like this also seven liters, this also seven liters. So directly I can mix it. So if you mix this, it will be of in the same ratio three is to four and five is to two. Ratio is same, and if you mix them, so milk and water. So milk will be three plus five, eight. Four plus two, six will be the water, and the ratio of this will be four is to three. So you need to make first. You need to check whether the quantities are same or not. Then I can directly do this. So if not, do some manipulations, and we need to make them same quantity. So let me proceed with the second question, guys. Okay. Similar question: Two vessels contain milk and water in the ratio seven is to eight and thirteen is to five. If both the vessels are mixed in the ratio one is to one, find the total ratio of milk and water in the new mixture. Fine. So here also let me take a first vessel. Seven is to eight ratio milk and water. Second vessel, thirteen is to five ratio, and it is mentioned they both were taken. Mixed with same ratio, one is to one ratio. Let me check first. What is the total quantity? So, if you check seven plus eight, which is fifteen, this is thirteen plus five, eighteen. So it's like fifteen liters and eighteen liters only. So, guys, before mixing, first every time, like if you want to mix, that should be of equal quantity, right? One is to one means equal quantity, correct? So. But this is of 15 liters and this is of 18 liters and we can I cannot mix in this way. So first let me take uh, let me make the uh, total units same. How to make total units same? Simple. This is of 15 liters and this is of 18 liters, right? Check for a common multiple. So 15 and 18 common multiple. If you check, so it will be around like uh, 15 and 18 common multiple. Yeah. Let me take 90. So 90 liters will be the common multiple, right? That means how to make. I mean, let me take 90 liters of this and 90 liters of this. So in 15, uh, so 19, 90 liters. In 15 liters, milk and water seven is to eight ratio. So similarly, 90 liters how much? So how you need to do? From 15, you will be get by six, multiplying with six, you will be getting 90 liters. Similarly, for 18, you need to multiply five. So similarly, now the ratios also will be multiplied by the same factor, where milk and water will be seven 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 six zero forty two and eight six zero this and this eight six zero forty eight. Similarly, thirteen five sixty five fifty five 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 twenty five. So this is what. So now you are going to mix them both. Add it. It is one not seven. It is seventy three. So that's it. That's the new ratio. So this is our final answer. So guys, just look at here. So two vessels are there. Milk and water in the ratio seven is to eight and thirteen is to five. So the equal quantity is mixed. So equal quantity. So to make it equal quantity, uh, first I checked the total of vessel A and vessel B. It is fifteen liters and eighteen liters. So I want to mix equal quantities. So instead of dividing this 15 and 18 and some finding some other things, first what I did is 
I made them the same quantity both by taking a multi common multiple of 15 and 18 by taking a common multiple of 15 and 18. So with that multiplication uh, with that multiplication factor I multiplied the ratio and I made the quantity same and then I found out the ratio and then I have added. So this is the standard process or this is a very little easy process when compared uh, with the other process while solving the problems in mixtures and additions. So check guys. Let me go with the third question. So A and B are two alloy of tin and copper prepared by mixing metals in proportions 13 is to 11 and 5 is to 7 respectively. If two alloys are melted to form a third alloy, the proportion of tin and copper in C will be. So same thing guys, when you want to mix two uh, mixtures and you want to form a th third one. So first you need to check the quantities or else you need to make the quantities same. Let me take first one. It is given as 13 is to 11 ratio. First alloy. Second alloy. 5 is to 7 ratio. So 13 plus 11 is 24. 5 plus 7 is 12. So the total is 12 and 20, 24 and 12. So how to make uh, the same quantity? Yeah, fine. Clearly this uh, 12 is a multiple of uh, sorry, 24 is a multiple of 12, right? So simply change the second ratio. Just multiply second ratio with 2. That's it. So this will stay same 13 is to 11. And the second ratio 5 to 10. 7 to 14. So now we add them. Now we add them. 13 plus 7, 10. 23. 11 plus 14. 25. This is the new alloy. Ratio of new alloy. Ratio of tin and copper in the new alloy that's it so simple guys don't forget you need to make quantities same so that multiplication thing you need to check okay let me go with the fourth question now similar to this question i have changed a little bit uh, extra things i have added here so the ratio of copper to zinc in alloy a and b are 3 is to 4 and 5 is to 9 respectively a and B are taken in the ratio 2 is to 3. Remember guys, till now we are taking 1 is to 1 ratio, same quantity. But here the quantity should be 2 is to 3 ratio. So I'm melted to form a new alloy. See what is the ratio of copper to zinc. So this is the question he asked. As usual, first we'll take first uh, alloy A. This is in the ratio 3 is to 4. Copper to zinc in the ratio 3 is to 4. B, alloy B. 5 is to 9. So, as our process, standard process, check first the total quantity. The total quantity of A is 3 plus 4, 7. The total quantity of B is 5 plus 9, 14. So, now what I need to do? I need to make quantity same. How? This is a 14, let me take like 14 kg, this is 7 kg. How to? Make this same. So 14 is clearly a multiple of 7. So simply you need to multiply with 2. If you multiply with 2, this will be 14 and 14. Correct? So both will be same. 14 kg, 14 kg. So but he has not taken same quantity. He has taken how much? 2 is to 3 ratio. So simply what I will do is. So the total quantity should be 2 is to 3 ratio. Instead of breaking it down. I'll just multiply the first quantity with 2 so that it will be 28 and the second quantity with 3 this will be of 42. So I have taken 28 kg and 42 kg right clear. So this will be easy. So this ratio 3 is to 4 I need to multiply with what numbers first I need to I'm making total quantity same. So first I need to multiply with this 2 and again with this 2. So it will be I need to multiply with 4. So 3 multiplied by 4, 4 is 12. 4 multiplied by 4 is 16. But here in the second ratio only I am multiplying with only 1 3. So 5 3 is 15. 5 3 is 15. Five threes are fifteen and nine for nine threes are twenty-seven. Now add them twelve plus so this is copper to zinc. 
so 12 plus 15 27 27 plus 16 43 so the ratio new ratio will be 27 is to 43 so don't forget guys this is a simple solution just check look at here so a and b 3 is to 4 ratio i'm again explaining 5 is to 9 so when i check the total quantity it is of 7 it is of 14 so first i multiplied with 2 to make the quantity same after that it is given as 2 is to 3 ratio so i multiplied this with 2 and i multiplied this with 3 to make it same ratio so i am going to multiply the ratio with this so 3 4 sir 12 4 4 sir 16 5 3 sir 15 and 9 3 sir 27 so i have added this will be 27 is to 43 so this is the answer simple problem guys do remember it let me go with the fifth problem so here also same thing i am making you to practice more and more on the similar type of problems here let me take here there are two alloys a which is having copper and zinc in the ratio 5 is to 2 ratio and alloy b is having 1 is to 3 ratio so a and b are taken in the ratio 9 is to 8 to melted uh, and melted to form a new alloy percentage of zinc in the new alloy closes to so same question guys first what i need to do i need to check the total how much it is 5 plus 2 7 alloy a alloy b 1 plus 3 4 so to uh, let me take like 7 kg 4 kg so now how i need to make this quantity same first first make quantity same how multiply with one another because 4 and 7 are not multiple of each other so multiply 7 with 4 multiply 4 with 7 so that 7 4s are 28 4 7s are 28 so that's the reason why the mixture the, uh, the alloys copper and zinc the ratio should be multiplied with 4 and 7 so so if you take first alloy 5 4s 20 2 4s sorry 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 guys this is a common mistake first we had made a we had made the mo quantity same and then it is given what it is not taken same ratio it is taken as the quantities that are taken as 9 is to 8 ratio so what i am going to do is i'll multiply the first alloy with 9 and second alloy with 8 that's it so that means by copper and zinc i need to multiply i need to multiply with let me take alloy first i need to multiply with 4 and then with 9 and similarly second 7 and 8 so that's how uh yeah so this is it now we need to do 5 fourths 20 29 180 similarly 2 fourths 8 8 nines, 72 next this is 1 7 7 7 8 56 3 7 21 21 8 uh, 160 8 so if you cancel this thing uh, respective this this may go with uh, okay let me add so this is 236 is to 0 1 uh, it's 240 so 236 is to 240 clearly I can uh, take with I can cancel this with 4 table so it is of 4 5s 4 9s this is of 4 6 60 so 59 is to 60 this is uh, uh, right uh, this is a uh, answer right now this is a ratio and but it is not the answer that he a question that he asked he asked the percentage of zinc so copper to zinc so we need to calculate percentage of zinc how we will calculate percentage of zinc simple zinc by total times 100 that's what now so zinc is how much 60 times total 119 into 100 so it is like almost near to uh, if it is uh, let me take go with the approximation guys this is 60 and this is let me take this as 120 this will be exactly half like 60 by, 60 by 120 will be 1 by 2 into 100 which will be 50 but here uh, the number uh, denominator is less than 120 so my uh, resultant answer will be slight greater than 50 and there is uh, only one option which satisfies that is 
percentage so i can go with that as denominator is lesser value so the uh, division or the quotient will be getting little higher than the assumed value so this is it guys so just remember first i made a quantity say first i looked the quantity 7 and 4 kg so instead of to make it same first i multiplied this with 4 and i multiplied the second ratio with 7 with one another and then it is given as 9 is to 8 ratio is taken so i multiply with 9 and 8 so let me go with the last problem similar to this check out guys there are two vessels contain milk and water in the ratio 5 is to 9 5 is to 9 and 7 is to 11 so if both vessels are mixed in the ratio 4 is to 3 find the ratio of milk and water in the new mixture same thing guys first what i need to do i need to check the total quantity 5 plus 7 14 7 plus 11 18 so i need to make this quantity same how i'll make this uh, quantity uh, quantity same this is 14 and this is 18 so let me ch check out the common multiple of 14 and 18 common multiple of 14 and 18 so this is like lcm i'm uh, discussing here so you can go with uh, common multiple of 14 and 17 will be um uh 14 3s 42 14 4s 64 yeah mm. uh, need to check with the common multiple so i guess this will be 14 and 18 uh let me go with 14 nines so the common multiple of okay let me check the ratio this is 7 and 2 7 14 14 into 9 this will be the common multiple 14 nines is 126 so so this is the lcm so to make this 126 i'm going to multiply the first ratio with 9 and similarly the second ratio with uh, uh, let me uh, guess it's 7 it's 18 sevens so this is out 126 liters 126 liters i got am i correct so similarly now what i need to do no 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 so yeah so i made the quantity same and then what i need to do guys before proceeding with the problem you need to remember the quantities are not same this is 4 is to 3 ratio so let me multiply the first one with 4 and the second one with the 3 and as if any now anyhow you are going to uh, you need to multiply the terms with 9 and 4 and 7 and 3 anyhow after uh, multiplying you are going to cancel uh, you are going to take a ratio so here itself you can take a ratio 3 can cancel out once and 3 can cancel out thrice so these are the numbers you need to multiply so 5 3s are 15 15 4s are 60 9 3s are 27 27 4s uh, 27 4s uh, 54 108 and then 7 7s are 49 11 7s are 77 add them so, so 60 plus 49 is 109 108 plus uh, 77 is 185 so this is my required ratio don't forget guys so this is first i checked the total quantity and then i made the total quantity same by taking the lcm common multiple to make it to common multiple after that again this uh, quantity is different so i'm multiplying with those numbers and then this then so if you are able to understand this particular set of questions almost um, it will be a uh, uh, basic questions these are very basic uh, few basic questions so if you are able to understand these questions so the type of uh, uh, i mean if you get any questions on this model you are uh, fit to go and solve this uh, solve the questions in exams thank you thank you guys